What it do, YouTube? And welcome to another WWE pay-per-view prediction show. Yeah, we're coming off of a rough Monday night. Um, well, while I'm recording, you probably will see this uh, Wednesday or Friday. But um, Night of Champions is this Sunday. Uh, it's gonna be in Boston, John Cena's home place, and um. We got a little bit of some bad matches, okay? But, um, I'll try to, um, do what I can. Like I did, yes, um, not yesterday. Last time, I'm gonna, um, go fast unt until we go to some parts that have, um, a storyline in it. Mainly, I guess, the WWE Championship and the War Heavy Championship. Maybe the Tag Team Championships as well. And I, I, uh, well... That's probably it. But anyway, are you ready? Well, let's do this. <clears throat> we'll start off with the pre-show. As you see right here, we got Antonio Cesaro and uh, his girlfriend, um, Oksana. Uh, in the pre-show, there will be a battle royal to um, determine Cesaro's opponent for the pay-per-view later on that night. It doesn't matter. I have Antonio Cesaro with it. Now we have the tag team championship match. Um, it's Kofi Kingston and All Truth taking on Daniel Bryan and Kane. If you haven't seen um, Raw lately, Daniel Bryan and Kane have anger issues. And um, Kane and Bryan went to um, anger management. They tried to get the anger out. Um, Daniel yells at this yells at a kid because he's wearing a goat mask. Um, they're teasing this guy named Harold, Scorpio, I don't know the other name for it, Harold, but, um, good segment on here, by the way, all the time, it's like these comedy segments, if only they could make Raw better, but that's what's been saving Raw, okay, in my likings, so, we have, um, Brian and um, Kane, they hugged it out last week and um, went through a complication and then, you know, got ugly. I don't know what happened yesterday because I didn't watch Raw. I was playing with some friends. Um, what I know is that Daniel Bryan and um, Kane defeated the primetime players. And I guess it was for the number one contendership, because before that, it was Friday Night Smackdown of last week that the primetime players won a number one contender match. And then it gets turned over on Raw in, um, this week. So, um, I would actually like to see uh, Dave Bryan and Kane to be tag team champions. Uh, it'd be like that, Matt Hardy an MVP relationship but without go face and Kane destroying each other but uh you know what hell I'll pick Danny Bryan and Kane to win here's um our next match the Divas Championship it will be Caitlyn taking on Layla uh I have Layla with Tina it's still line it was a battle royal, a Divas battle royal, to determine the number one contenders match. Uh, at first, I was I thought that Layla was about to turn heel because she was looking like looking mad at the Divas by during that time. But um, Caitlyn won. It was supposed to be Eve winning. But you only had, you had, Eve, you had one job. One job, and you blew that. So, Caitlyn won. Um, then we see Eve. Uh, um, what happened? I think it was last week, Eve beat Caitlyn. Put Caitlyn over. And, um, stop, you know, being happy and shit. I don't, I don't fucking care about the demons anymore. I have Lennon. Our next match 
is Dolph Ziggler taking on the Viper, Randy Orton. Uh, now, I don't see no, um, storyline here, but when is freaking Ziggler going to cash in the money in the bank? I, I thought he was going to cash it in at SummerSlam. I thought he was going to cash it. What was the last pay per view before Summer No, I think he won it back to me. Sorry for the random rumbling. Um, I guess uh, it was Randy, ba Randy Orton taking on Dolph Ziggler. I will have Dolph Ziggler winning. He's going to need a couple wins to build up his steamroll as he tries to go for the World Heavyweight Championship. Okay? Our next match will never end until Dolph Ziggler. <sighs> Y'all know what I mean. Sheamus taking on Alberto Del Rio. Match rivalry that will never, ever, ever end. Uh. Storyline, um, Alberto won a number one contenders match, right? No. Alberto at SummerSlam got screwed over due, due to the ref. Um, the ref didn't see his leg on the ropes, and they still had Sheamus winning. So, I don't know what happened. I guess Alberto was named number one contender. So, uh, last week, Sheamus bro kicks um, Alberto Del Rio's special announcer. And, of course, he gets a concussion. No, not a concussion. A um, neck and head injury. And sues uh, uh, Sheamus. Thanks to um, David Otum, so-called lawyer. So, what we have now is that last week on SmackDown, Booker T, General Manager, um, bans the bro kick. What I heard from yesterday on Raw, yet again, I did not watch until the late ending when you had CM Punk and Cena and Bret Hart in the ring. Um, he still used the bro kick against David Otunga. So if the bro kick was banned on SmackDown, it's supposed to be banned altogether. But I don't give a shit. I have shared this one. Now, uh, if you don't see, why did I not mention the Intercontinental Championship? Now, Paul will announce, announce the um, championship match on SmackDown or later on this week. I'm not going to cover it. Um, this has no big storyline. So, what I heard is that Cody Rhodes attacked The Miz. I would love to see that. There we go. But uh, they need to build a storyline, WWE. If you can hear this, build a storyline. To stop making storylines involving the WWE Championship slot and the World Heavyweight Championship. It's supposed to build a storyline around every championship if you can. But by God, we don't want you to do that. Huh? WWE, we don't want you to do that. Sorry about that. I lost my cool. Alright, main storyline here. The WWE Championship, John Cena. Somehow again another title shot, even though he said he didn't want one. Well, because he didn't want to say CM Punk's best move. But, um... Cena's taking on CM Punk again, but a, a new CM Punk. Heal CM Punk. All he wants is respect. At first, he got offended by Jerry Lawler saying that, um... Saying that Punk... Um, turn his back on the WWE and he said he lied so he's 
he got to name the um got to name his opponent. He he wanted to, I think. After, after the night after the summer song. So he said he named it he names his opponent John Cena. Unless Cena can say that CM Punk is best in the world. He doesn't want to. Uh Punk gets mad and kicks Jerry Law in the back of the head. We got to that. Um CM Punk said he he wants a match against Jerry Lawler and making fun of the wrestlers that Jerry Lawler has faced in the past plus um making fun of Memphis saying that he's the king of Miss Memphis so while no the people get to do a while active I will do in a video about that piece of shit right there um were active and they chose Punk and Lawler to face in the cage match. Before that, um Lawler didn't want to be in the match, but then he said, you know, hell of it. I still got it. So Punk <laughs> Punk beating the hell out of um Lawler and they still have a controversy about what happened, what made um, Punk bleed in cage. I'm not gonna get to it because I don't really care. Um, Punk beats Lawler and puts him like keeps stomping his knee and just beating the hell out of Lawler in the cage. And John Cena tries to help him, even though I don't know why they don't want. They don't have him climbing up the cage. Um, check on Lawler's case. Punk gets offended, saying that Cena got his nose in business that doesn't concern him. Um, he still wants respect. So he's in Chicago. He says, "No people taking off Labor Day. I'm gonna take one off too," and leaves Raw. So that night. Cena takes on Del Rio, and um, towards the end, CM Punk returns, I think kicks um, Cena in the back of the head, and a bunch of Del Rio wins, and then uh, putting Cena over um, his shoulders like he's going up for the GTS, and it slam and um, slams Cena's head in the car. And in that car was CM Punk saying, respect, gets in, and it's Paul Heyman driving the car. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Heyman. Remember years, uh, last year when Punk said he's a Paul Heyman kind of guy. And he's pro Brock Lesnar. If you don't know... I can see something about to happen that's going to be awesome. But let me get back to the story. So la so um, Monday night, um, Punk is mad at Bret Hart because, well, mad at him and AJ because one, um, no, maybe he's not. Mad, he wasn't mad at Bret Hart. He was mad at AJ saying, "Oh, I get a match, but John Cena gets." An interview with Brock with um, um Bret Hart. So um, I don't know who Punk faced. I think it was a tag team match. Well, it was supposed to be Punk versus Owen, and then it ended up to be a tag team match because Lawler got involved and Dolph Ziggler got involved too. But um, Cena, Cena's well in the interview. Uh, I don't know what happened because I didn't see the interview by the time all it, when I last time I looked at Raw. Raw when I got back I was playing with my friends still, but I went to use bath. I wanted to see what was on Raw. I see CM Punk talking to um, Cena and Hart, saying that I don't know what he said. I can hardly remember. All I know is that. Um, 
Cena called him the son of a bitch and he's gonna kick his ass at Night of Champions. And um, Punk was about to attack uh, Bret Hart and um, pulls it away. Uh, and um, Bret Hart punches him. Punk leaves. And um, that's it. So for this, I have Punk winning. Now, it's supposed to be heard that John Cena was going to win in his hometown, carry the championship, and then lose it to Punk. But I, I see, come on, if you don't know, you can see Paul Heyman's going to do something. What I can see, I think I have Brock Lesnar getting involved, attacking Cena, and then Punk winning. Because remember, Punk said last year he's pro Brock Lesnar as well. Or pro Brock Lesnar. And he agrees. I don't know. I forgot. I have him in the music video, but somehow. But, um. Punk will win. Okay? But those are all my predictions, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you like it. Like it. Like the video. Subscribe to more. For more predictions, if I do it as a monthly basis, till the pay per view. By the way, I would love to send my condolence and my prayers to Jerry Lawler and his family. Jerry Lawler, I hope you get better. Um, if you don't know what happened last Monday night, uh, Monday night he had a heart attack during the show. Um, I hope him a safe recovery. To fight this. My prayers are out to you. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I see you. Yeah.